Hey everyone, it's Christy from Miss Fultz's Corner and I have a quick tutorial for you today to show you how you can dress up the quote section of your Teachers Pay Teachers store. So as you can see here on mine, um, here I had a quote, it was a link before and it said be sure to check out my digital paper and there was a link that took them to the digital paper section of my store. But I have dressed it up with a graphic and the graphic is still a link, so if you say, you know, don't forget your digital paper, um, they can come in here and click on it, just like they could the quote, and it will take them to the digital paper section of my store. Now, you can make this section anything you want. It could go to your blog or your Facebook page, a category um, in your store, whatever you want. Um, and I just wanted to show you very quickly how to do that. The first thing you're going to need to do is make the graphic. Um, you can use whatever you typically use. I know lots of you are working in um, PowerPoint. So that's what I'm going to show you. In PowerPoint, the first thing you want to do is you want to change the size. So you click Themes, Page Setup. And you want it three um, wide by one high. So three inches wide one inch high. That's the proportions. Then you can just design whatever you want your picture um, to look like and you will save that like you do your other pictures. I recommend um, either making the background gray or making the picture transparent so that it doesn't have the white box on your final graphic. Now you're going to take this graphic and you're going to upload it into um, Photo Bucket, your blog, um, your domain, wherever you store images. Photo Bucket is the most popular. And you're going to need that link. Now we're going to do a little bit of code, but I'll put this code below the video and I'll also put it in my blog post. And I'm just going to very quickly break down what this code means. Um, it's going to start A-H-R-E-F. A means link and this means reference. Then you're going to fill in this section with a link. I used a bit.ly because we're limited to 120 characters and my teacher pay teacher links are really long. So I went to bit.ly.com and I shortened the URL so this link will take them to the digital paper section of my store. Then the next thing you're going to do is your image. IMG SRC and you're going to fill in the full link to your picture from Photo Bucket. Now mine's MissFultz.com because I store mine on my domain, but yours here would be your Photo Bucket link to your um, picture. And you're going to put that in quotation marks. And then a little bit of closing code. So what I'm going to post below this will be really simple. It will look like this. And all you have to do is paste your link in where it says link and paste your picture code where it says picture. Okay, Then you're going to copy that text and we're going to take it over to our Teachers Pay Teachers store. So in your Teacher Pay Teachers store, you're going to go to My TPT, My Account, and you're going to click Store Profile. As you can see, your personal quote will be where you're going to put your code. So you're going to click Edit and right in here, personal quote, all that gibberish code that you had copied, you're just going to paste it right in here. And it has to be 120 characters or less. So make sure you use a bit.ly and make sure your um, photo bucket name is you know, on the shorter side. Don't, mine just is Digi PNG. Make sure it's not super long. You'll hit save. And then you'll see the preview of what it will look like and then when you go to your TPT store, you've dressed up your quote section. And this is a great way to highlight a certain section of your store. Um, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, you can send me an email or visit me over on Miss Fultz's Corner.